wanted to take you through a little bit of uh, kind of what we're doing with these data collections with these super speed sets. Um, and so typically when I have a subject come, come in, um, uh, they're going to come in and just kind of get a nice warm up in where they're just going to hit a few balls. Uh, we'll look at some of their track band data and start looking at things like club speed, ball speed, those kind of things. Uh, this uh, uh, participant in our study, uh, this is him after his six weeks of training. So the very first thing I want to do is just kind of look at how does his club speed look in comparison to what it looked like you know, before he did this training, right? And just kind of a warm up. This is kind of what we would call his sub max or his cruising speeds, right? And his cruising speeds prior through and cruising carries uh, were somewhere in the range of kind of 120 and now already kind of up in the, in the 130 range in terms of some of these carries. Uh, again, 132 there. So uh, just kind of what his cruising speed is. Okay, once I finish this, uh, we go through a warm up with a, a mid iron and then a driver. Uh, then we'll kind of get those maximum speeds that uh, his six weeks of training did. All right, so what we're looking at right here is just, again, our focus here is just club speed, right? That's all we're really care about here. So, so what I've done is, is these are kind of some of your cruising shots. Again, same kind of instruction. You come in and you're just getting kind of a nice warm up here. And so this is you post six weeks of training. So we've got a 77, a 76.6, 75.8. You did this, these last two uh, down here, but as you started out, right, right in that 76, 77 range, if we go back to what it looked like actually six weeks earlier. Let's get some of that up here. Right here, and this is all of your shots from that thing. It's a beautiful pattern there. Uh, but if we go back to just some of your first shots that you hit right here, notice here we've got 68.2, 72.4, 69, 69, 70, 68. So even just your cruising speeds, right, jumped up six, seven, eight miles per hour, uh, ball speeds up eight, nine, uh, carry distances up, you know, 15, 20 yards. So this is something that we're hoping to see, right? Something we expect to see. It's great when we can actually see it uh, come here and see that just to, again, your sub max cruising speed jumps up, you know, six, seven, eight miles an hour. We can see here that uh, prior to uh, the training, uh, driver club speed, cruising speed was somewhere in the 84 to 87 range. Uh, this one was a 92, the one before that was a 95. So you can kind of do another one here. In this setup here, we've got them uh, on the force plates, right? One foot on each force plate, uh, track man uh, set up. And that one dropped a little bit to 88, but again, as we start looking at those numbers, again, a, a bump of about, you know, five, six, and in some cases, even 10 miles an hour with that driver. Okay, now we're going to go left-handed. So I just wanted to show you the lab where we're collecting some of the data um, here. So this is our uh, kind of simulator. Uh, we can project all of everything we want from TrackMan on here. Um, we have been uh, just kind of keeping it on the computer there just so the golfer doesn't get too focused on any other parameters and they can just focus on generating that club speed as much as possible. Um, some of the equipment that we're using to kind of look at this and see what we're looking at data-wise. A uh, big one here, uh, Right now it's just these uh, force platforms here. So these are Vertec force platforms. Uh, these uh, will, will measure forces, center of pressures, 
um, and torques in all three planes of motion. So they'll do a vertical force, they'll do a front and back force, um, they'll do kind of a force this way. Um, we've got two of them, which is great because we can separate lead leg, trail leg for these golfers. Um, and uh, these are collecting a thousand uh, points of data every second. So a lot of really good data that allows us to calculate peak forces and loading rates and, and how quickly they can generate that force and at different points of the swing. Uh, the other thing that we have that you kind of see up here, these are our uh, motion capture cameras. These are infrared cameras. Um, and these infrared cameras are great, right? They only end up seeing uh, these little reflective balls. Um, that we put on the golf club. And so for, for these, this study, really all we're focusing on is the forces at various points of the golf swing. Uh, and so what we're doing is we put these markers on here, uh, and then during the swing, I can utilize these cameras to detect exactly where uh, the, the golfer is during their swing, and they can correlate that to kind of what's happening with the force, right? So that's kind of a great thing we have with this camera system set up. Uh, in the future, being able to put these on the body and really look at kind of full three-dimensional movements uh, will be kind of an exciting thing uh, coming in the future. Uh, and the last bit that we have here, all right, this is our uh, TrackMan launch monitor. So uh, we're very fortunate that we can collect all this data using TrackMan, uh, you know, kind of the gold standard in terms of launch monitors for uh, really we're looking a lot of club head speeds and ball speeds and carries uh, as kind of secondary things. Um, and, and this is kind of the, uh, the lab setup. So this is our uh, Qualysis motion capture system. I don't know if I mentioned that. Our, our Vertec Force Place, uh, and then of course our TrackMan data collection. Uh, I will point out too that we do have our PRGR launch monitor here. Uh, this is really nice for when we're actually collecting force data on these golf swings, especially as we look at these dominant and non-dominant swings, um, and start to look at how they're learning how to generate force uh, and transfer that force with the speed sticks and also with golf clubs. Uh, this is really great in allowing us to get those practice swings and, and see some of those velocities that they're making. Uh, with the super swing sticks without getting involved.